Hello, and today I'm going to be showing you not only the basics of HTML, but what it all means. So that way, if you ever decide to start writing Java, jQuery, CSS, you'll know what those mean as well. So the first thing you're going to want to start off with is selecting text edit. It could be in the others folder on your launch pad. Text edit is the Macintosh equivalent to Windows Notepad. And you want to select new document so that way you have a nice nice, fresh, clean slate to start writing your HTML web page on. So the first tag in the HTML language is you obviously want to declare what language you're writing in so that way when the browser sees it, it knows how to decode it. So to declare it, we're going to add the HTML tag. There are different declarative tags, but since the basics we're writing today, this will do just fine. Next tag you want to add is the head tag. Now, I indent it just because that's proper syntax. When you're writing more complicated documents, it just makes everything easier to read. Now, the head tag, it displays everything that's going to be going into the web page, not what's going to actually be displayed on the body, just everything that goes into it. If you ever start writing different types of code other than HTML, this is also where they will go. And the next tag is the body tag. The body tag shows what's going to be displayed in the web page. So this is where all your paragraphs, headings, links, pictures, just everything is going to go. So um, after you have the base frame of HTML documents, and this is what they always look like. It doesn't matter what you're writing, if it's 30,000 lines long or if it's five. This is what it looks like. So now we're going to start adding our elements of our HTML. So the first one we're going to add is the title tag. And this actually does not display anything on the web page because, again, we're putting it in the head tag. This is Google's title would be Google. It, if you're switching in between tabs, it will just show you what the web page is about from the tabs. So that way you don't have to go through looking. Okay, so I'm going to name mine example web page because obviously this is an example web page. So that's going to be the title. And again, every tag, most tags, has a beginning and an end. See? Beginning, end, beginning, end, beginning, end. This, again, shows the browser where the title begins and where the title ends. That's just the way the browsers read it. That's the way HTML was set up. That's the only thing we're going to write in our head for now. Obviously, you can get more advanced, less advanced, whatever you want. So, now in the body, this is where, again, everything's going to be displayed upon the actual body of the web page. So the first thing that is good to start off with is a heading. Now the tag for a heading is H1. There are a total of six different headings and they all go down in size. So H1 or heading 1 would be the largest font size. H6 or heading 6 would be the smallest. Okay, so the heading that I'm going to use is example web page because obviously this is an example web page. So um, after the heading, I always like to put, when I'm writing basic web pages, a horizontal rule across. If you don't know what a horizontal rule is, it's basically just a horizontal line going right across. It helps sectionate, is that a word? Sectionate the layers of the web page. So that way the headings all have a line and the paragraphs have a line. It just makes everything look cleaner and neater. So after our horizontal rule or the horizontal line across, we're going to add in a paragraph. And um, this, the paragraph tag is also obviously a P in brackets. Everything is in brackets in HTML. And we can type in whatever we want. So I'm a paragraph. That's what I'm going to be naming my paragraph. And look, see? Opening, closing. You see a pattern? I'm sure you do. You're bright. So after that, we pretty much have a decent web page set up and we're going to want to save that web page so that way we can actually view it in a browser and see what all this work has turned out into. So you want to save it and this is actually very very important. This is almost more important than actually getting the proper writing done. See that? .html this will if you don't save it as .html it's pointless. It's just going to come up as text because see if you see down here if no extension is provided to use text, that's what it automatically wants to save it as because obviously this is a text editing program. It's not really meant for writing HTML. So you want to make sure you uncheck this, 
So that way there's no chance of it getting saved as a text document because one of the most discouraging things about writing code is when it doesn't work. Then you want to save it. Um, I always save them on my desktop so that way I know where I saved them and how to find it easily. And then you want to wait for it to save. And there it is. So there's also two ways of opening it. You can either go right to your browser, which can be obviously Firefox, Safari, Chrome, Internet Explorer, whatever you want, and click Command O or Open. So Command O or Open. And you want to find your document, which would be Index, and you can open it from there. Or if you prefer, click on the document, then right click on it and open with Google Chrome. And there you go. There's your web page, all nice and pretty for you. Also, there's another way of opening it. You can type in all this, but that gets really complicated too. But so here's a web page. See? I'm gonna show you the code along with it. See? The title is up here, example web page. The title, example web page, the first heading, example web page, again, the first heading, and then example web page, this is the first heading, the horizontal rule, the line across, and the paragraph. Now, let's see what happens when you take out the horizontal rule. I just want to save that really quick and refresh this. See? No more horizontal rule. Or maybe I want to change this one to example web page is awesome. And then we refresh this, and there's the title. Or maybe I want to add another heading in. And again, like I said before, different headings, you just go down. So this one's going to be a bit smaller. There you go. This one is going to be a bit smaller. And again, maybe I want a really super duper tiny heading. And there you go. That's the basics of HTML. Have fun playing around with that, and I hopefully you'll learn some other codes to help extend your knowledge.